Welcome to this US Master video tutorial. In this video we want to take a look at the terrain extraction from US Master. You should have already finished now the exterior orientation adjustment and camera calibration and in the last video we have taken a look to the processing report and the evaluation and analysis of the um, of the result and therefore we can close the US measurement. After we closed US measurement we can start from US applications master the surface and auto generation. At the beginning you will see two windows. You will see the US edit window and the point cloud manager. In case you close the point cloud manager then you can start it again from file point cloud or by selecting the icon here that looks like a database. At this moment most of the buttons are grayed out and we cannot use the edit functions for point line and other stuff. So therefore we first need to process from the point cloud manager the point cloud selecting generate point cloud. In case you already have a terrain model for your project you could also use the import file into point cloud function where you can select a last file to import into your project. We will calculate in this video tutorial a DTM, a digital terrain model. We have here three different resolutions, detailed, smooth and smooth. They are just a variation of the grid size that will be used for the DTM extraction. In general, the DTM extraction tries to match the ground, the bare ground or bare oil, earth, soil, not including single buildings, single vegetation, trees or objects. We will run the detailed DTM extraction, so I select detailed and start the process. In case we already have a terrain model either generated or imported, it will be replaced. The boundary is always our complete block when we run the generate point cloud function from our point cloud manager. The DTM extraction uses a feature based matching algorithm. In a different video tutorial we will run the digital surface model extraction which uses a different method. It's the cost-based matching algorithm that we use. After the calculation for our terrain model finishes, the terrain model will automatically be loaded into our project and we will see the result here in the point cloud query tab in the background. Here we go. Our project output is done. We can close the window. We see here our terrain model in the point cloud query. A typical workflow would now do the editing of the terrain model which is possible with US Edit. We can here select an area, start the point editing, load it into our editor the data is then here available. We would now see that the functions for edit point and line are existing. We can here take a look at the data with different viewing options where we can in this case here shade the data, uh, look here on the data from different perspectives. We can also use uh, control lines for displaying how the terrain changes. After we do the changes we can then uh, write them back to our uh, final product uh, data backwards. But we will not cover these editing functions here in this video tutorial. This is part of our professional training that we offer. So in case you are interested about this, please contact our sales team. So after we did all the editing in stereo or in mono, we can then select here from generate or to mosaic. Generate Auto Mosaic offers different calculation methods. For each of them it's important to define the pixel size and therefore it's important to know the ground sample distance of your data. 
in our project here, the demo data, our ground sample distance is around 2.5 centimeters. So it doesn't make sense to create orthophotos or mosaics below 3 centimeters as we would start to interpolate into the resolution. Autos from point clouds are only possible when you calculate a digital surface model. Please do not use it when you have created a digital terrain model. For digital terrain models, we strongly recommend to calculate a classic autophoto, which will then not try to create a true autophoto. This is typically needed when you have buildings that are represented in your point cloud and when one camera cannot see behind the building, it will occlude an area and this occlusion can be calculated. Of course, in our digital terrain model, uh, we don't have hopefully occlusions because it's on the bare earth ground and therefore we will calculate a classic auto. We start the classic auto generation. It asks us which layers we will use. This will be part of our professional training, how to handle the terrain tab and how to use interpolation flags. This is now in our case here in this demo. Please keep all the checkboxes on that are here by default on. Same with the morphological data. We didn't measure any stereo data. So please keep the standard settings and we will start the auto photo generation and mosaicing. In the background, US Master will calculate for each single photo an auto photo. So we have 41 images and for the 41 images, 41 autophotos are calculated. And after the 41 autophotos are calculated, there is a radiometric correction applied and a mosaicing and automatic seamline de definition. And the final result will be one single auto mosaic for the complete project. After the processing is finished and done, we can close this window and we can load the terrain data. For the DTM it's not very large, so we will select the complete part and start the point editing. And we can see here in the photo tab now, uh, sorry, in the auto tab now here the mosaic part. We can select the mosaic and activate the mosaic and when we dis Able the point distribution, we see the autophoto. We can zoom with the wheel inside. We can deactivate the borders of our aerial images. And this is now our final product. We can zoom in here very much inside. And one pixel here uh, represents, in this case, here uh, three centimeters. And we can, uh, for example, activate the contour lines and see the terrain model that is used for calculating the autophoto at this position. We can still go here and do corrections. For example, if we say that this car, these cars here are not correctly auto-rectified, then we could here select them, this part, see how the model here is bended, select the points that are too high, which are here located on top of the build of the, of the car, and then we could edit these points here. We can also deselect here the points that are here going below. And so we would only see the car points, which are these points here. And we could then reinterpolate them, put them on the ground, or in this case, do other editing options and recalculate them order photos. This is the final result that we have, our terrain model and our auto mosaic. You can find the results in your project folder. So wherever you have stored your project folder, you will find the mosaic, which is called mosaic.tiff. And you will also find your terrain model, which is in this case called um, raster.dtm.las for a terrain model. And when you would run 
um, digital surface model, it will be called pointcloud.las. That's it. Thank you very much. I hope you could uh, successfully process the demo data and enjoy to see the different functions of US Master. Thank you. Goodbye.